everybody, this is Outlaw Frags. I'm James. Uh, I'm Russell. I like that tie he's got on. You see that? That's some sharp shit, sharp shit right there. So this is the first part of a four-part series, mm -hmm. and this has actually been brought to you by a gift that I got from my buddy Alan at um, a Beverly Hills Perfumery. Okay, so do me a favor. Come right back after our intro. Five seconds is all it is, and we'll get right into it. We'll be right back. So what we're going to talk about today is this right here, and this is unique, and this is a house that is brand new, and it is out of Turkey. We were fortunate enough. Unique enough. Yeah, and fortunate enough. I got to meet the gentleman that actually owned the line when we were in New York. They're really nice people. And here's so you can see. This is their discovery set. We're not going to burn through all of these. We're going to do this three at a time because there is a total of 12. And we've got a little cheat sheet we're going to be using. Yep. And I will say the, the packaging on this is outstanding. This is really, really nicely put together. It's unique. Yes, it's very unique. Unique so, luxury. I'm going to pull these out so that you can find them on the list of stuff. Can you read it? Or do you need my cheating glasses? Socia. There's the first one. Okay. So we're going to start with this one. Yeah, maybe I'll... Okay, no yeah. laughing. I'm going to laugh because I was wearing them before. <laughs> okay, so Soshi Scientific. Soshi Scientific. I think we need to practice these names. <laughs> well, before... we need somebody to come and read this to us. <laughs> before we... Uh... Here, I'll just give you the whole thing. All right, and I'll yeah. let you pull it out. I didn't fold these yet. That's okay. Anyways, we I'm like not to stumbling this. around trying to read stuff that is definitely not in our vocabulary. It's got to be at least entertaining for you guys. Enough to hit that thumbs up button. That's right. Okay, so sociopath, which sociopath. is not, <laughs> not the name of it, but uh, it's like scientific is in it. So, so, so scientific. So, so scientific, so, yeah. So scientific is the way yeah. I'm pronouncing it. Uh, the top notes is osmanthus, grapefruit, orange, and blossom. Ooh. Then in the heart, you're going to jump into cherry, black pepper, jasmine, plum, peach, strawberry, cedarwood. Oh, wow. Yeah, no doubt. That's absolutely Amber, wonderful. Amber, musk, and vanilla are what's in your base. That is so. just an amazing treat. It's sweet, but without being cloying, it right. is, that is just, it's almost kind of a candy sweet, but without being sugary, sugary sweet. You know what I mean? No, it's nice. It's, yeah, that is absolutely wonderful. And it's very well blended too. Yeah. So scientific. Crazy name. I, I, I would love to know the story that was behind the decision to to name it this well i don't know because look at all the unique names and i'm not saying unique yeah, ideas, but, yeah. but that have been coming out here recently and they're taken from uh, latin phrases and they're taken so yeah scientific is so scientific so scientific if you separate the so that's what it would be so scientific yeah and this is an extreme extreme de parfum mm -hmm. I that like that is one. Is absolutely that one. I would say bar. is a must try. You have to try this one. Yeah, absolutely. I think y'all will be. I will say that if I have the ability to pick up a bottle, because I am not sure about the pricing on these. I know they're not cheap. Um, these are not your bargain basement budget friendly kind of fragrance. But if I could get my hands on a bottle of this, I would love to, because that smells amazing. Okay, there you go. This one is called Akdenzen. <laughs> well, we sound snob. dumb as hell. <laughs> <laughs> We're really not stupid. A K D E N I Z. All right. So, James, what you're supposed to get out of this is marine notes, lemon, grapefruit. Yes. 
Then in the heart, you're going to get labdanin, thyme, apple, pineapple, myrtle, white flowers. Then in your base, you should be hit with some patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, amber, leather, musk, and vanilla. Man, they're only missing the kitchen sink. Yeah, and as soon as I saw a pineapple and, and no, lemon, it doesn't smell like a Ventus, but you, you see both of them. It that's the smells first thing I think absolutely of wonderful. This is another one that is really, really clean, clean, fruity, sweet. This has totally got me written all over. I really, really like this. Yeah, I would wear this. Yeah, this is outstanding. And that is a tough one to get a actual decent, there we go, now you can read it. So while you're looking at this, you can try to figure out how to pronounce that. But this is two for two. That we couldn't pronounce, or that, that we'd like too. That we liked, yeah, that's, that, yeah, that's, that smells wonderful. <laughs> for a lack of a better adjective, that is a, you this know. This is, go ahead. This would be, a, outstanding to wear in the heat in the hot summer like when it was 110 out yeah maybe because it's it up a little, a bit, little bit but because it, it is sweet but it's not coin you know what i mean it's it's not overly sweet in my opinion i could even see this being worn dressed up even yeah it is like like this yeah and i could see myself going to work that this would be a, a non-offensive office then. Yeah, I can't see anybody not liking that. Yeah, this one's definitely unique. Yes. Okay, so this one is Harmonized Senses. We're going to get this name right. Is that one something that we can read? Yep. <laughs> Harmonized Senses. Oh, so steady. let me see if I can find it on here. Yeah, that's words that I've seen before. Harmonized Senses. Get this in the box open. Okay, cheating glasses real quick. Um... Freggio, F R E E S I A, Freggio. Yeah, and I believe I that's, a, that that's floral. Pino, Pini, Pini. Yeah, that's Pini. I'm not exactly White sure. White florals, what it is. pink pepper, lily of the valley, lotus, plum blossom, and then the base is rosemary, geranium, magnolia, and white musk. Okay, so this is definitely very floral. Yes, this is way more feminine looking. Go ahead. This is not bad for having that many florals in it. You no, know, but it is very It's definitely feminine. leaning feminine. This is one of those I think I'd be uncomfortable with. Yeah. And I didn't read rose in there at all, I don't think. But it almost gives me a rose vibe. Yeah, it's if that got makes that sense. whole kind of bouquet of flowers thing mm -hmm. going on. Yeah, if I smelled like this and I was holding a bouquet of flowers, you, you could you yeah. could fit right in, yeah. you know, because that's a that's a very good description of this one. Yep, it's like the mix of flowers bouquet that we yeah. get that you pick up that you want to impress your significant other, and you're smelling that whole bouquet right here. Yeah, it's exactly what so it is. So I don't get rose out of it, but it almost gives me that rose vibe. Yeah, like I could see this. I could see a, a an attractive young lady in a sundress wearing this. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I would agree. You know, and it would smell good on her. It's yeah. not like it's a repulsive flowery smell. No, this is something. not a grandma rose. It's a very nice, nice bouquet. Yeah, and, 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 and you're what, right. Summertime sundress. A young woman, a young wearing woman. It, attractive. Yep. She could, she'd pull that off in a heartbeat. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I will say there are three really good scents. Two of them are outstanding. I'd love to have a bottle of two of them that we can't pronounce the names. Yeah, and out of the three... They're all really good. I'm going to have to go one, two, three, because now that we're getting further into dry down, this one's backed up a little. Has it? It's it's toned way down the so but of course citruses and stuff like that yeah, they burn off really quickly yeah they're a much more volatile compound so they don't stick around as long whereas before. this one I would, actin actin this one i would love to wear in the summertime in the heat 
because this kind of makes me think of how tattoo is. Tattoo is sweet, oh, yeah, yeah. but in the summertime, in the heat, it smells even better. And I think with a little bit of heat, this would radiate off your skin wonderful. Because it really, the old, because this was like really sweet when we first sprayed it. This one impresses me. Yeah, this one is amazing. But I would like to wear this in, in some heat. I want to try this. Try that middle one. The yeah. French horror is coming out is all. They already know by now. Yeah, this one is wonderful. And in, in the mid, right after the, the top notes are gone, it's got kind of a unique kind of feel to it. Wow. The opening is nice. The opening is absolutely nice. Now, I got to say, out of, out of these, the opening, the best opening was this one. For you? For me. But the overall scent characteristic, I like this one. That one right there. Yeah, both of them you are just out of the park for me. To that mid, so now I'm interested to see what the actual dry down dried out of this comes. one is going to be. Yeah, they've all, all of them are really good. Yeah, I could wear this one. Yeah, all day long. I would love to have a bottle of these two right here. And sorry, and, AH. And gifts. Uh, and gift. I'd like to have a girlfriend to give that to. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a young, pretty, and in a summer dress. Right. So, so scientific. So scientific. And. Good book. Adkins. Adkinsy. Oh, fudge. It's like Heinz. Yeah. The, there you, know you go. Now you like can Heinz, see it. So Heinz ketchup. Those two right there, I would love to have a full bottle of. And of course, I'll take this one. Harmonized senses. That, the hardest one to say. Yeah. <laughs> the one that we actually could pronounce. So they're all really good. I'm really impressed. You know, I, I am not sure exactly if there are scents in here that they are marketing to women or if everything is supposed to be unisex, because it doesn't really say on any of the literature that we have, does it? No. no. It doesn't. But I will definitely say this, sorry, AH, Harmonized Senses is definitely, definitely feminine leaning. Even so much, like I've got some stuff that I will wear that is a little feminine leaning. This is beyond that for me. Right. This is, this is something I would love to be able to give to a beautiful young lady. But the other two, man, are just straight bangers. Well, it's almost turning powdery now, too. On top of the florals, they're starting to step back. Yeah. It's still, even that, it's still really, Very really, though. yeah, feminine. But it's starting to turn a little powdery, too. Yeah. Wow. I these, mean, these are incredible, though. Yeah, they really are. And they're not linear scents, which is nice. So they've got character, there's some depth, they change. This a one's little changing bit of time. right now. So scientific. Yeah. Okay, somebody's gonna have to, from the house, come out and publish a video on how to say the correct names. Yeah. Like, how to use you know, those and help out the reviewers. Yeah, because you know, if if you are from this company and we are totally just butchering the names, it is not out of malice. It is basically out of, I want to say. I don't want to call us ignorant, but yeah. Well, a lack of how to say it. Yeah. You know, I mean, look we're at not stupid. Look at uh, Red Lessons. Stevens line. Yeah. He chose He's to go non English with yeah, all of his names. They're all Latin names, yeah. So if we're butchering them when we're reviewing them, it's not our fault because. We don't speak Latin. We're not Latin, right. So we don't speak Latin. this is coming from. Where did we say this? This is a Turkish from? house, but Turkish. these names aren't Turkish. No, because Wood Mood, Hidden Accords, Istanbul, Istanbul, Izmir. Izmir is a, a city in Turkey. Harmonized Senses, Chocolate Makes Me Happy. Ooh, well, I, I couldn't that one's you good. pick that one out. So, <laughs> Baron, Beryl, Beryl. Kute, some of them we would be able to Dude, pronounce, but, yeah. some we're going to stumble over, but as far as scent goes, Man, yeah. the house is, and I'm going to use their own name, very unique. Very unique, yes, and outstanding. We're probably going to stick with that adjective of being unique, Yep. but good. Yeah, absolutely. In a good way. I got two that I'd like wow, to have a bottle of. Florally, though. Yeah, I, can't, I cannot get over, like... It, some I have some white musks and I have some I even have a rose 
and uh, I, I, I can't pull this off. Yeah, that's totally... I'm gonna say it's not even leaning feminine, it's just feminine. Yeah, it's not unisex, it is straight feminine. Yeah. It, it smells really, nose. really good. Like, I would like to be around a female that smells like it, I just don't want to smell like it myself. Girls, if you're looking for something to wear, try that one. Harmonized Senses. Yep. Because you will smell good. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, summertime, spring, summer, that would be a wonderful scent to smell on a woman. I kind of like this middle one the best. Yeah. To me, they're both really, really good. It's hard when you're... Back and forth, back and forth. And not to mention, you're covered with 18 different things already. This whole arm that you're smelling is a concophony of mixer. No, but these are all good smelling. <laughs> that so, still is... That's still straight wax. Yeah, it totally is. So with that being said, we want to say thank you for spending the time with us as we go through these. Like I said, this is going to be a four-part series. This is the House of Unique that is a brand new house once again out of Turkey. Very unique. It's very, very unique. And it's really good so far. Yeah. I've, none of these have been like, I can't believe. Offensive, was, yeah. yeah. So we will, oh, wait a minute. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. We're working on our 5,000 sub goal. We can't do it without you. Okay, when is that coal buy? Is that by next Christmas? Hey, it's whenever we were, shooting, we were shooting for a thousand by Christmas, so now the yeah. next goal really is it's five thousand. So yes. um, that should be a big one. We'll probably do something special when we hit two thousand, though, because that seems to be the thing. I'll come up with some sort of bottle. I'll well, that it's nice bottles. to say thank you to you guys because without you for supporting us, right? Yeah. So, like you say, there's no bad time to smell good, and all these smell good. Yeah, every, absolutely. Even for the girls, absolutely. we got something for you. So, if you're one of the very few lady w viewers that we have, take the time and look into this because this is outstanding. I know that I would like to smell this on a lady, yeah. absolutely all day long. Till next time, we will see you on our next video. We'll see you on the next video. See we'll see you on the, the next video. video. We'll